literally how does Tentacle Rogue work? It's unclear. We're going to try to find out live. So I bet you there's some... Oh, God, get these Phantom Knives out of here. What is wrong? Where's my Phantom Knives? Come on. Come on, stop showing me what's new. Where's the Phantom Knives? Oh, thank goodness. All the golds are gone. Now, something should be summoning tentacles. There's Chaotic Tendril. Where do my tentacles come? Tentacle Grip, deal three damage. Get a 1-1 one, one Chaotic Tendril. Get two Chaotic Tendrils. Nice. Oh, I'm seeing... Oh, we get so many tentacles. Ah. Get copies of every one attack or one health minion you've played this game. LOL. We have so many Chaotic Tendrils. Okay. Okay, and we're breakdancing. We're shadow stepping. We're coin preparation. That's great. Shuffle the two leftmost cards in your hand into your deck. Draw three cards. That's wild. All right, choose a friendly minion. Add a temporary copy to your hand. Okay, oh my gosh. I literally see how the game works. I literally see how the game works. We'll never not lose. We'll never not lose. Prep, coin, concede. Not a chance of it happening. Ten cost spell pool is busted. Sure. Sure. Valera versus ETC. ETC. Fans, let me hear you scream. Wow, 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 wow. Watch your All right. If you play a one cost card, get a copy of it that costs zero. I mean, that's so funny. Cost one less for each. Divine Shield, Taunt. I don't know what I want to do, so I'm just going to send them all back. There it is! Gold Panner. Oh, Chaotic Tendril, yes. All right, here we go. So this is improve your future chaotic tendrils. All right. Hey, look at that. Look at that. We cast funnel cakes. We get a mana bag. Yeah. Use a friendly minion. Add a temporary copy of it to your hand. All right. Oh my god, it's Tentacle Ramp. Absolute Tentacle Ramp, it's so good. Quick pick, if your hero attacks, draw a card. Okay. Alright, so dude, you draw so much in this game. It is crazy to me. Alright. Okay, so what I'm going to do... So we're hoping that the absolute insane RNG chaos of the tentacles is enough to win the game? I mean, this is insane. Next spell. Here we go. Next turn, your nature spells cost less. All right, let's... Uh-oh, shoot two beams at enemies. Yeah! Woo, tentacles coming back, baby. Take that. Cast a random four-cost spell, yes. Tentacle ramp, baby. What does this thing do? Both players equip one, two microphones. Your opponents increases all damage they take by one. Oh, I see. All right. That was fun. Everyone relax and put this apple on your head. Oh, this is so good. Five? We've created a temporal anomaly. Oh my god. Oh, it's temporary. Fuck! No! <laughs> oh god. No. I can't stand this game. Oh my god. This new temporary mechanic. Ugh. It's 
It's rough. It's a very rough time in my life. But it's okay. Never give up. Never surrender. It's just a baby misplay for babies. Alright, this guy's gonna gain armor to gain armor. To hit me. Jerk. Whirlwind. Blade storm. Eye of chaos. Oh. Look at me go. I don't know how many more duplicatos we have. Battle cries trigger twice for the rest of the game. Excellent. That's a random five coster. Okay. Okay. Job's done. I'm glad to have played that tentacle. I'm glad to have seen that interaction. Fan of knives is two? What is this game? That's insane. Since when is it two? Wait, what does this say? Wait, this is this actually two? Your opponents increase all damage they take by one. Why why is this a win condition? Speak to me. Like literally I don't understand why that's the win condition. Ten cost spell would be a twenty instead of ten. Okay, I see. A spell that I've never heard of deals more. Got it. Cool. So that's pretty good, right? What in the what in the what? Some cards, fucko. All right, we're just gonna keep ramping the tentacles. So this says, get copies of every one attack or one health minion you've played. So I have a bunch of those. Holy shit, that's so unfair. That is the most busted thing I've ever seen. All right. Combo get a 1-1 one, one Chaotic Tentacle. Well, shit balls. That sucks. Alright. Alright. There we go. Oh, that's right. They come out twice in a game. Battle Cry is when I play it from my hand, so it doesn't Battle Cry when it just enters. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So that's actually helpful for my hand space. Five, Volk here with Rush. When one dies, gives the other a bunch. A Mega Morbillion damage. Okay, so... Seven cost. Extremely tight. Eight cost. Stay away, my child. Alright. This is something. Well, I wanted to step Geppetto. So, here's the thing. If I shadow step Geppetto, let me just make sure shadow step is the same one. Yeah, because in my eyes, I was like, does this run? Does this run the risk of killing me? 
because if this runs the risk of killing me, then I actually want to shadow step something to replay because that's the only way that I have a chance at surviving. So that's why I, I, I bounced it and replayed it. Whoa, we're gonna ban. Whoa. Whoa. People that are just like, literally like personalizing the fact that I did a different play. Wowie zowie. Yeah, because I mean, obviously you can get a, a ton, ton, ton of value. Nice. Oh, and then it brings out two. Sick. Obviously, you can get a ton of value by bouncing it and then playing all your tendrils and then at a later turn, like, playing a bunch of stuff. Like, certainly, certainly. So, let's see here. Choose, choose a random character. Cast four random spells. Target it if possible. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, so let me let me do this first. Here we go. Actually, have some good amount of tentacles. Saran. Oh, yeah. 1-1 one, one Chaotic Tendrils. Perfect. Excellent. Fill my board with random undead. <laughs> okay. Extremely cool. Okay, so I want to get some of my dudes to die. Get your own pan! Tough. Actually, I think it's fine. Alright. Ten mana spells. Some little band of three thingies. Yep, scritchies. We got some scritchies. Sonya and Yogg? What's Sonya do? Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh. Everybody, pose with a camera. Yeah, no, I I I did observe that we could uh potentially have tried or so to back up, one of the reasons why it's a little tricky to try to get, um, you know, go for a tendril play on that last turn is that we had our whole board filled and it's a little awkward to try to get one of my dudes killed. Nixon, this is you're the best Hearthstone player ever. It's true. I mean, I wasn't going to say it, but we're all thanking it. All right. Even more tempers. Okay, what's this thing do? There's only two 10 cost spells currently. Yeah, does it loop back around to one? Oh, it stays at 10. Perfect. Clear the board. I mean, this is insane. Dude, Hearthstone is, has lost its damn mind recently. So, the biggest thing that we need is space. So we should be seeking ways to kill as many of our cards as possible. Okay, so that's good, because we can trade these here. Perfect. Literally perfect. Because now what I can do is I can get rid of this one, get rid of this one, get rid of these two. And now I get to play Sonya, and I get to play the Chaotic Tendril, which is a 10 cost. Then this one will deal 10 damage. Well, 
this kind of sucked. Shadow go. step one time. Okay. Okay. One time. Whatever. Woo! Maybe we should just break dance the Sonya, yeah. That's what Taki says, read, man. You are you are misunderstanding how the game works, my dude. Complete foundational misunderstanding of how playing a card game when there's a 15 second timer going on. I mean, look, here's the risk. The risk is there are effects that I don't understand that when the game is done and there's no time, we'll find out. What we could do is we could we could be like an absolute monster-pilled Zoomer, guzzling energy drinks, trying to read as fast as we can, self-consciously having heart palpitations. Oh my God, what if I don't understand how every single word on every single card functions on the first go? Or I could just do some shit, have a blast, and, you know, we'll figure out how to get through it. My hand is too close. There it is. Never give up. I don't actually understand where this guy's coming from. Sure. So, if I could go over here, I could see this. Oh my god, get me out of here. Deal 10 damage and summon a 10 cost. Okay, because it shows on the screen and then it goes away so fast. And I was just like, dude, I'll figure that shit out after the game. You're close to the Golden Rogue back in the day and didn't get it. I. I get I don't really like golden stuff in this game. I don't like golden stuff. I like my stuff to match. All right. Valera versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. All right. Watch your back. So, I don't know how to value this. I'm gonna keep this because I have no idea. So I see now how MC Blingatron can potentially give people wins. Job done. What is this doing in the deck? Draw a minion if it's a pirate, get a coin. This feels this feels horrific. This hand looks so bad. Yeah, also MC Blingatron is not not as much a win condition. It's like another way to deal more damage. I don't know what I, what, what happened to card gamers. What happened to card gamers? with the word win condition. What happened? What is with this? Like, I, I actually, I legitimately don't know what happened. I'm worried about gamers. Here's the thing. A win condition means you do not win unless you have that card. And this, once upon a time, was created. I smell gold in their waters. It, it was created when there were control decks in Magic that had something like, you know, 58 lands and spells and two creatures that could even deal damage to the enemy. Or if you look at uh, a lot of decks in Modern in Magic, it's it's so unclear how some of these decks even win that you go, wait, what's the win condition to this? We've created 
created a temporal anomaly. Here we and that's that's how wind condition um, was used. And so I like I've even watched Brian Kibler's stream where people will be like, what's your win condition? He's like bringing their health to zero through creature combat. <laughs> it's like so funny. Because what, what Blinktron is, if, if we're actually talking about using our language to mean things, MC Blinktron is a great late game card that allows for a great late game play. There you go. Woof, woof, woof. This one ran a beast of cost three less gross. Nasty. So I feel completely hosed here. Divine Shield Taunt Life's Rush. Okay. Now, I kind of want to just chill here. Daz Das, GMBH says, So win condition literally went the way of literally and can now mean literally the opposite? Damn right. In fact, any creature is now a win condition. You know what I mean? That's the win condition. What's the win condition? Oh, it's... I'm, I'm running cards. That's how I win. Is this the Blizzard precon? Oh yeah, I got this. This is a, this is not the Blizzard precon. This is a provided deck list where I'm being. I'm very excited to go Tentacles. Friendly beast. Jeez, please, Jungle Gym is insane. What does this thing do? Dude, there's just so many cards doing shit. Dang. Where was that? All those years ago. I think I might be tentacleasing. Draw a minion. If it's a pirate, get a thing. All right. It's chaos o'clock. What is this thing? I'm sorry, what the fuck is this thing? Holy shit. Trapdoor spider, oh my god. I also have like all of my most expensive cards minus the eight drop in here, which sucks. Dude, I am so hosed. Hero attack, summon a one one out. Yeah, this is. I mean, th this felt like a completely reasonable death. I had price card, price card, price card, price card. Get me out of here. Why do you have a big jug of water? I mean... I feel like I want a question that's more specific than that, DNR, because the answer is so I can drink water. I mean, I don't... I feel like that's not what you're asking. <laughs> oh, is it Tendril O'Clock? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, sorry. My jug of water is my win condition. Thank you. Like, I... Because, you know, you might say, like, why do you have a large water bottle instead or a large water jug instead of a large water bottle so maybe, maybe maybe this is maybe this is how i'm gonna approach this question dnr i feel like why do you have a jug of water has a lot of really intricate lines that i can take for answering it so let me go through a few of them one of them is okay yeah, i am talking all day you. if you are someone who has ever talked a lot you will know that your throat dries out oh god any minions cost health instead of mana next turn? Did I just lose? I 
will be your death. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait, wait. I'm not going to talk about water for a little bit. All right. Battle cry and death rattle. Draw a card. That's that's horrible. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay. Classic turn two. Alex Straza. All right. Okay. Well. All right. Hopefully there's a two-man removal spell. No! <laughs> All right. Let's get him back. <laughs> All right. Well, may as well do another random thing. Yeah! Oh, wait, no! That's pretty bad. Okay. So I'm talking all day, so naturally I'm going to need water or some sort of beverage to keep my body, my throat feeling good. Now, I could get a large water bottle and keep it next to my desk. This is an option. For a while, I just had a large mug that I would go to the faucet and refill with water, go out to the kitchen. But over time, I just went, hey, what if I just got a huge barrel of water next to my desk and then I could drink a large amount of water and not leave my computer? And I actually prefer that because it's much easier to keep the flow of things going smoothly. This one of the pre-built decks, it is not. Dude, having Alex Straza here is so bad for us. Turkey. I mean, literally, I need some way to freeze this. This was so stupid. I give up. This was so dumb. I mean, cast a random one cost spell. It's just like, it's over. Oh my god, is the Grubster raiding us? Oh my god, Grubby. I saw your character in Elden Ring. It's like Blanca that just never really got his act together. Try finger butthole. Welcome to 2022, Grubby. It's great to see you. Oh my god, try finger butthole. Amazing. It's great to have you here, Manuel. Hope you had a fantastic stream. Um, Elden Ring, uh, for you who don't know, Grubby, uh, the greatest, I mean, actually, God, are you the greatest all-round RTS player of all time? I mean, I know I'm top five, <laughs> but Grubby does Warcraft 3, uh, Starcraft 2. Uh, I haven't seen you play Age of Empires, but I know you'd kick ass at that. Recently has done a big stint in Dota and a variety of other content, including one of my favorite games of all time, which would be Elden Ring. Oh, yeah. All right. So for any of you who don't know, uh, it is for me Blizzard Month, where I, for the next month, am going to be not just doing Hearthstone this week, but also StarCraft and StarCraft 2 next week. I'm going to do my first ever playing of World of Warcraft. We're going to play some Heroes of the Storm and some various other accoutrements. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, just doing some Tentacle Rogue for the next little bit of time. What is this? Outcast, return a minion to its owner's hand. Played as the left or rightmost card in hand. It's so wild. Which version of WoW? We're going to start with Classic. Classic. Sean C. Bose's biggest day for Heroes of the Storm in like five years. That's right. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, no, I'm absolutely just going to play as Madame for like a whole day. <laughs> Master Tractors, have you ever thought about replaying Elden Ring? Yes! I I love Elden Ring. Shuffle the two leftmost in, so this doesn't work because of this. Oh god. It's already screwed, isn't it? 
All right. Level him up. Oh my god. This game is a nightmare. Come on back, my friend. Do you have a character ready for the DLC? It's gonna be my same character. It's gonna be a character that has like 85 stamina. <laughs> it's so good. Fukin what says, I just got here. How does Villain have 12 armor on turn two? Well, actually, Blizzard transformed Hearthstone from a card game into a sandbox creative game. So uh, my opponent just simply wrote the number 14 down and that's their armor now. Tentacle grip. Tentacle time. So let me explain the nature of this deck. Don't, oh, why do I keep shooting my own stuff? Okay, so I can show you the nature of the list in a quick second here. So you'll see that this says Chaotic Tendril. Battle cry, cast a random four cost spell, improve future chaotic tendrils. So I have lots of cards that create chaotic tendrils, lots of cards that will create duplicate chaotic tendrils, get copies of every one attack or one health minion you've played this game. Fills my hand with chaotic tendrils. So we're trying to get this to the 10 cost point at which time I can just deal a bunch of damage to the enemy's face. Because as has always been the case, the face is the place. Actually, who now that now that I brought this topic up, who are the greatest RTS players of all time? Because I think that Vortex and Lucifron probably has to be up there. Vortex and Lucifron were amazing at Warcraft three, and then Starcraft two, and then Age of Empires four, and at Stormgate. I know that they are absolutely goated. So let me see if I if I actually gear shift, shuffle these things in. Draw. Draw. Oh, we got we got Sonya. So I can shoot. And I can go coin to return this to the owner's hand. At which point in time I can replay it. I swear to God, this game is a nightmare sometimes. I don't believe it. Let me do this. Come on back. Who are, who are some of the other ones? Because, like, I've heard Serral, but I know that Serral's, like, the goat at StarCraft 2, but was Serral top at other games? Yeah, and it's same thing with like the Viper and Hera. They're absolute Age of Empires two gods. And I saw um, the Viper do pretty good in Age of Empires four before switching back to Age of Empires two. Okay. So I can play this. Oh, oh! I have so much mana. All right, come on back. Take that. Beastie Cutie is definitely excellent. What do these things do? Oh yeah, it's one once they become super crazy ultra mega mega big. Oh, I haven't gotten to do this yet. Choose a character. Cast four random spells targeting it if possible. I mean, I'm doing that. I'm doing this 100%. What, what is this at? Seven cost? Oh my god. Four random spells. Life steal. Deal 10 damage. Split random. I randomly dealt the 10 cost thing. This game is like absolutely appallingly dumb. Excellent. Go. Best game ever. <laughs> really? Really, there's a lot of debate as to who the best RTS player of all time is, but there's no debate that I'm the luckiest card game player of all time. I think that that's clear enough.
Hero's got Divine Shield. I got this beast that is absolutely all neck and no funny business. At the end of your turn, do a little of this and a little of that. Increases damage they take by one. I mean... Alright. Okay. Alright. How long can you hold you? Alright, play this. I swear to God, this game is horrible. <laughs> Alright, I just blew my shit up. It's fine. It's not like I care. What is this? It's just a tumbleweed. I don't believe it. Dude, these... Like, this game and these decks are so... This is insane. world's biggest ball of twine, dude. Jezzeret. Sam Max Hit the Road is a good game. Oh, check this out. Randomly on that guy. At the end of your turn, do something. Deal three damage. Discover spell from your deck. Discover four cost. Okay. So I'm going to play Yogg. I'm going to do preparation. This. Preparation. And then I'm going to fill my hand with Chaotic Tendrils. Let's do this. Alright, this is the game. Yeah, no, this, this game is... It is way insane. It is way insane, man. So, so, I don't know if you guys have ever watched, like, the early, early, early episodes of, like, television in science fiction that are, like, black and white. I think some of the early Star Trek was black and white. My, I, I, my old roommate, Kyla, used to, like, watch super old media just because she was interested in what it was like back then. And... <laughs> I would walk out and I'd be like, you know, cooking some food. And in these early TV shows, people would literally sit there talking to each other for way too long. Like just standing like wooden boards in black and white and outfits that were essentially shirts and a room that was just an empty warehouse where they were allowed to film it. And they would talk back and forth with essentially no tension, just declarative sentences, no questioning, no fighting, no drama, no escalation, just talking. I'm imagining someone who was watching that TV, teleporting to the future and being handed TikTok. Like that's what it feels like going from old Hearthstone to new Hearthstone. It is insane how much escalation there has been in this game. It's insane. So I'm going to play McBlingatron, meaning I'm now going to get stuff. I'm now going to play Chaotic Tendril, which will cast a random 10 cost. I said cast a random 10 cost. So there it is. Rata -ta 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 so what does this thing do? How do I get this guy to die? No autograph. All right. I mean, this is Yu-Gi-Oh is ten times worse. Yu-Gi-Oh is infinitely many times worse. It is so much worse in terms of readability and gameplay and accessibility. It is hard to even imagine it. Oh, I forgot to use Yogg, but I can't attack with him. I can only Titan with him. 
Could have taken control of a minion. That wouldn't have helped. Why not attack the enemy minion with my weapon? I'm trying to kill them. And their weapon lets them take double damage at that point. Alright, let's cast a random 10 cost. 10 damage, summon a random 10 cost. That seems pretty good. A 612. Let's cast this, and it is... Deal 10 damage, summon a random 10 cost. This is the game, baby. Tentacles, 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 tentacles. Ranks me nothing. You're teleported from a from a human to a panda. There it is. I sweepy. Is that the only 10 cost spell? I think there's a second one. Come here. Yeah, come on. Come here. Come on. Shadowcast TV with the five gifted subs. A happy Tuesday to you. A happy Tuesday to you indeed. Yeah, the viewership numbers are great because, uh, as I was saying before, we're doing Blizzard games all month long. We're doing some Hearthstone. And probably going to actually do Battlegrounds on Thursday. So, in other words, I'm presenting to you a lie. Uh, and then next week, we're doing a bunch of StarCraft. The week after that, we're going to do some World of Warcraft. It's all coming up on Blizzard Month. Look at this. Yeah, you like you like my graphical interplay? And it's just it's just fun to be back streaming. It's fun. You like the new Hearthstone? You know Heaven's Door? For as much as people criticized, oh, there's not a, there's not as much complexity and interaction as in magic. Ra 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 ra. Like, I've said this before, I'll say it again. All the Hearthstone I played from 2013 to 2018, it is like a 10 out of 10 time. I loved playing all those games. All right, this is fine. Oh, thank God. I loved it. I just kind of petered out on it because I found that the complexity was not quite enough to keep me entertained. I was having a lot of fun learning different decks and how to pilot them, but once you learned how to pilot them, it was sort of just like waiting for the deck to play out. And it was it was relatively flat. It would not surprise me if Hearthstone took that route for me. It would not surprise me if it, honestly, if it just didn't. Shuffle these two in, see if I can get some better things. Here we go. Break it down. Break it down. Um. Uh, let's see where we're going with that. Yeah, so I, I mean, like, I'm having a ton of fun. I'm like dialed in, I'm engaged. I've discovered once again that I'm the greatest card game player of all time in terms of sheer luck. Welcome back. Um, chill. It's so fun. It's like really insanely rather fun. Uh-oh. What does a kobold miner do? So it's just is this just a two mana five five? Battle cry, excavate a treasure? Okay, I see now. Let's just go ahead and play the Chaos Temple. Play another Chaos Temple. Oh, give me a break. Hit me. I dare hit me. Alright. That was gonna be nerfed. This is the anti Hearthstone right now. It does seem a little powerful. Apo Koala, what a delight to see you, Apo Koala. How you been? Happy 150 months in a row. Happy 150. Alright, that's good. As long as they're focusing on creatures and not my face. If they start focusing on my face, I'll be devastated. It's so big. 
It's just so big. Patch of coins. Get two coins. It's two coins. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. All right, so the play is How long can you Water Dancer. We play the Chaotic Tendril, which immediately casts Lifesteal, deals six damage to a minion. Thank God it wasn't one of mine. So then I play this. This is a random five cost. Discover and play a movement. Deal six damage to all. The actual worst thing of all time. Holy shit. That's so bad. Okay. This better be a good seven coster. So I'm going to random three cost X and Y and Z. May as well do this. I mean, we might we might just die here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Alright, RNG was not on my side. Oh yeah. If Qualsus has Blizzard gone, man, I'm having a blast. This is so good. Orum Dragoon says, I do love the remove all minions every turn or you lose. Paladin. I mean, that's, from when I played, that's how most classes worked. You couldn't remove them on the turn. You were totally screw a -roni. So all we need is one set of tentacles. I just dunked you. I'm like Celestial Clinger. Get out of here, Celestial Barnacle. Whatever I know. Oh my god, did I, did, I do declare, did I just get a tentacle? Get three, four, one worms. All right, so this is actually this is actually Danger Town, huh? Can I combo this? That's how. Oh, while you were playing classic at first, classic. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Hearthstone's piloting is just so much less rich than Magic and other games where there's back and forth because it just literally is not interaction. Um. But I think that the smoothness of the client, the creativity of the ideas, it just makes it like really, 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 really fun. All right, so let's do preparation. Tentacle. I didn't even read what this card does. Let's see, nice. Tendril time. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but this game is fucking garbage. <laughs> I cannot believe I shot my own tentacle. Give me a card. This is like, this is an insane amount. Anyways, so the, the creativity, the ideas, the fun of the interface and the art and the pleasantness, it's just, it's just really, really, really fun. This is, this is an insane amount of damage. I cannot believe how much damage this is. Tendril time. Good, my nature spells are cheap. That's 15 damage on the board right there. Oh my god, I fucking can't believe this fucking game! Oh, yes, yes, they're fucking killing my minions! <laughs> How is this possible? All right, well, I guess I'll just dunk these two cards. Here we go. All right, well, there's another botanical grip, I guess. Maybe if I can get, like, fan and knives into fan and knives. I mean, literally, I'm on a one-turn clock. I, like, don't believe this. Where's my Thalnoth? I can't believe it. 
projectionist keeps coming back. Ah, I just from here in case you like need anything else. Summon six hounds. All right. See what we can get out of this. Fan of knives. Rewarded. I'm ready to go to this speak easy, baby. Absolutely. I'm ready to like do this and think that it's sexual dancing while I'm wearing a bowler, a jacket, a blazer, a suit, a vest, a shirt. My tie's tied a little too tight, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely past the moonshine. I'm feeling lucky tonight. Spurfang. Summon a random beast with cost equal to this minion's attack. Magnetic, whenever this does, I mean, I just don't even know what to do with this anymore. Hit me with something random. Draw two cards. All right, well this is good. I can shadow step this guy. Plop that turkey right back down again. So this is gonna be summon a random three cost X, Y, Z, and W. All right, so I think I'm dead, right? So I've died. I'm, I'm dead, right? It's death? There's no hope? that's six damage bringing me to nine my opponent has turned six and i think that there's a one cost card that says deal nine damage right he's gonna cast kill the command get all just get all three animals you know get them all here comes huffer here comes leoc god that's a lot of damage bing bong all day long All right, well, I think the biggest problem is that I kept killing all of my own shit. That was the big issue that I believed that I had. Great. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Cannot believe it. Squirrel lethal. Squirrel lethal. Well, I gotta check my phone. <laughs> God, I'm so popular. God, I'm like the most popular guy in town. Oh my God, dude. I don't know. I don't know how to put this. But you wish you could be this popular. They're work emails. You wish you could be as popular as I do. Is that a sentence? Yeah. Splendiferous Whizbang. This deck has five duels, treasures in it. What do you think the odds of me accidentally killing my own thing is? <laughs> oh, he's whiz banging. Jane of mana. Summon the weapon, hit me. Discover a spell from another class. Cost three less. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Bing. And bong. No, I mean, I'm gonna be gear shifting my way through. Shiny. My shiny. Shiny. 
Bla, bla, bla. This reminds me of the uh, Tim Robinson sketch from the characters. <laughs> what was his name? Was it Tommy Paradise? <laughs> Lady Luck. They call her Lady Luck. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not even sure I do. Dude, yeah, no. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Tommy Paradise. We need some more tentacles in here. I'm just going to dump these. I was thinking of keeping them for a while longer, but I think it's better that I just... Wickedy whiz. Straight on in. Isn't it, it, isn't it Tommy Paradise? Isn't that the name of that character? Something Paradise. Help, I need so much help from you right now. Sammy Paradise, fuck, that's what it was, Sammy Paradise. <laughs> I'm broke! <laughs> oh, man. Draw two cards, gain four armor, ugh. I'm ruined! I'm a dead man! That's what this music reminds me of. McBlingtron. Okay, so if what I do is I preparation to shoot Tentacles. You've created a temporal anomaly. Yeah. created a temporal anomaly. We've created a temporal anomaly. Gnome on the range. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Mal Reynolds SC is just stopping in to brag that I just got married. Dude, everyone, give a warm congrats to Mal Reynolds. It feels good to be married. I'm not going to lie. Being able to just unnecessarily say my wife is fucking way too, way too joy inducing for me. Uh, I'll have the sandwich, and my wife will also have the sandwich, right? It's just like so. Figuring out ways to work it in there is the best. Yeah, and then you're, and then you're gonna do your taxes and realize that being single is actually financially irresponsible. Alright, so let's do this. That mm bop. And then I can play the chaotic thing and I can bounce it. Deal 10 damage to an enemy minion and then do some other stuff. Alright, cool. Yeah, no, I've still I've still made it several years into marriage without saying my wife. It's like incredible. I've just literally not I haven't done it. It's actually one of my greatest triumphs. Because I'm sure that 99% of the married men in here have just broken. In that regard. <laughs> Applied Yuri says I wouldn't make it a day. Most don't. Most say it like on the altar, like in front of the friends and family and like the priest and shit. Alright, miniaturize. Next card is turn cost. Man, I can't track this. Aethros Tempest says John Mulaney has a great bit about that, asking. Can my wife join? It's so much better than saying, can my girlfriend come? <laughs> That's so good. Secret 42 says, I strongly remember you saying it on stream. Never would, never have. And if, if you find that clip and it's like embedded in one of the videos I've uploaded to YouTube, I wanna let you know that that's actually a deep fake. And it's not me and how dare you. Oh yes, I of chaos. More like I I of chaos, am I right? What did I cast? Give all minions in your deck attack and health equal to their cost. Okay. Chaos. My hand is too full. Oh, what got burned? Swash burglar. Gotcha. Clonk. Clod. Yeah, come on up, sweet pig. Now this is treasure. Gotcha. Ow, you little fuck. Ow, you absolute... 
ping. Bong. Why am I getting face bonked here? Right in the nipple, right actually in the belly button this time, coward patty. She has her little claws, then she just like grabs stuff. It's rough. So I think we're about to do some off popping, huh? Why is it playing this song? Why is this the song that's being played? What is this clown ass music that's playing on my stream right now? That's why I'm like going all in on this clown show deck. Oh, don't hit me in the face. Oh, is it? Am I getting sweeped on? <laughs> I'm feeling close to death. Actually, could I have killed? No, that's good. Thank goodness. Action. Action and reaction. Attack. Oh, I could have maybe used this to destroy that weapon. Maybe that was better. But like, here's the thing. I'm I'm What the Fuck is that spell? Wand of disintegration, silence, and destroy all enemy. What? How lucky is day nine? I'm out of card. Hmm. What 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 is that card? <laughs> it's just destroy your deck. What else did it do? What else did it do? Alright, fine, I'm gonna play McBlingatron. <laughs> I win in five turns. Extremely exciting. Here we go. One time. <laughs> oh shit. Ah, oh, fuck. I mean, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> ah! All right. Well, I did get the taunter. Got the taunter. You know. I'm sure my opponent's just gonna say stuff. Just gonna start emoting like crazy. I feel like we're certainly dead. Discover a spell from another class. All right. That one. Does it get cast immediately? What? <laughs> I 
I can't believe that my utter random bullshit lost to their utter random bullshit. This is why I don't play any games where I can't control all the variables. Now, let's queue up for a game of League of Legends. My teammates, what are they doing? That is why I can't stand this game. I'm gonna go play a game where I can control all the variables. Let's go play some Rust. Oh my God, all the hard work I did in my base, this is bullshit. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm gonna play a game where I can control all the variables. I'm gonna play some chess. This game ends in too many draws. You know what? I think I'm gonna reinstall Hearthstone. That I, I, is that you? Am I talking to you right now? <laughs> Deck of Discovery. All right, I don't like anything that's going on here. I'm just gonna mulligan, try again. Joy Mansur Geppetto, it's me. Good old gold panner. <laughs> Lake 19 says, man, I've been watching you on and off for about 10 years. You're still funny AF, thanks for that. Lake 19, a bow. A warm and cheery and wuggly bow. Oh, no. oh, gold panner? I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna do that stuff. Alright, and out we go. Keep on panning. Keep on panning. Wait, is this at the end of every turn? The end of your turn. Oh. The Sofen says, I get the idea of all the randomness, but at some point it does feel like a little bit much. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot. It's, it's like a lot. Battle Cry Death Rally. Hero Power gives you just, just a little bit more. Everything in the game. There you go. Keep on panning. Keep on panning. Alright. Get your own pan! Your Buha. Gear shift. Job done. Hit me with the tentacles. Wait a minute. Keep on panning. Keep on panning. Discover Druid Spell. R2C2 says, to be clear, most Hearthstone games aren't this random. Dude, like this, every game of Hearthstone that I've played today has felt like random to the max. <laughs> it's actually so insane to me. Like every game, it's like summon 15 random beasts that when they die, do 15 random effects. Gotcha. Welcome back. I mean, I, I, I like I'm playing tendrils, but beforehand I was playing the druid, a druid OTK list. I mean, we're we're really cranking up the RNG here. I'm talking about my opponent stuff. All right. What to do? I have Charles. Charles. Frames is even the druid deck you felt was random. I was I I don't know if I did this, but I'm pretty sure I specifically said that the games have been insanely random. Like the amount of randomness in the games overall. Like in terms of the beasts doing a bunch of random stuff, in terms of the random effects of what gets summoned and what doesn't, uh, against the various paladin and warrior lists. Even within Druid, because I was playing like Yog Saran at the end of each turn, or every time you activate one of the um, Thingies. It is hoily random. My hand is too full. You're joking me. Some dogs. Violent. Ba -ba 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 
Oh yeah, loving what this gamer is doing. Tentacles. What do I want to do? I mean, I actually, probably should get Zillion out sooner rather than later. You. I don't know if it's bad to be smacking this guy and drawing a card. Oslo Music says, this is an interesting game design conflict I've been struggling with a bit in my own games, so prob um, probably with perfectly predictable linear consequences that you lose some of the potential surprise interactions, which are a big part of the fun. Yes, 100%. I think that overall, I'm very pro-randomness. My issue is a little less with the randomness of what's created. I think it is the fact that there's not interaction in this game that you can trace almost all of my concern back to, because if you have a bunch of random and surprise and unusual situations coming up, but you have interaction, it can create a sense of, ah, here's a situation that I need to respond to. And I think that they're like, if you imagine like the pie chart of a random thing just happened, how often is that pie chart, ooh, I need to respond to this new dynamic situation versus how often is it, um, holy shit, this is totally random. And I'm completely hopeless. I haven't actually done this very often. I, I kind of want to do this. Oh, that was really bad. Oh, that was really bad. Now, this is six cost. Sure. It's me, a rat. Probably won't want to do these set of things. You're barking on the wrong tree. That card is so cool. I love this card. I'm in love with this card. Time waits for no one. I'm getting close to dead, man. Does that help with any of my stuff? And the answer is no. So let's go ahead. Let's let's kick things off. Smacking this. It's tendril time. Summon a Stegodon. All right, it's pretty, pretty extremely tight. What is this thing's death rattle? Oh, I see. Actually, now that I have this, I could probably do just just Here one more, just one more. One time. Alright. 
Freezer, uh, Burn Vinny. Yeah, I mean, I can interact with my opponent's actions in a sort of simultaneous way. Vengeance, vengeance, vengeance. Oh, vengeance, vengeance, vengeance. Oh. Ancient Allure, let's go. God. Didn't this card used to be a 7 mana 5 5 that restored 5 health? Now it's a 7 mana 7 7 that restores 7. Both number one to me. Stegadon has Taunt, right? Nice. I remember that card. Stegadon is so cool. Far away from my this nine ten. Yeah, I mean that's that's looking like a W. Vaguely. Okay, so hit this. Where's my five cost, dude? Oh, shit. I don't have him? All right, well. Oh, fuck. Okay, shit. Oh, my God. Okay, that'll do. Whatever. All right. This this card changed. What is it? Destroy all enemies and locations. Wow, interesting. Okay. Jades. Okay, I have a lot of the same stuff. Okay, so let me just do this. Okay, so now I'm gonna play my... Where'd my guy go? Oh, I left him on the battlefield. Man, that's so risky. Okay, that's okay. We've created a temporal anomaly. Break it down. <laughs> uh Uh, this, this is a little tricky. I, I can't do that. Fuck. Fuck, dude. I meant to hit this thing through first, because then this would have summoned the 6-7 bot. But I didn't, so that's really bad. Hey, you like you like my ancient totem? Look, it's what you look like at your computer watching my stream right now. There's like I wouldn't play those cards. It's okay, but there's a reason I discovered you among all the other choices I had. Look at you, what with your horns and your bark and your your grimace at all times. I mean, I can't believe I died. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. 
It's okay. Other option was 10 armor. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I'm still really not used to the fact that, like... When you play a card, it doesn't add to your rope. For those of you that don't know, in Magic the Gathering, the, the other card game that I've been playing, the, like, that's my main card game, I would say. The, the sheer amount of simple UI UX things that are slightly different. Like in that game, if you play when you're roping, it adds to the rope. I will bring order. All right, it's fine. You're back. Fucker Train says some decks can go infinite. So if you get to add the rope, it would be broken. Um, there, there's other heuristics that exist in magic to kind of deal with that. Tomorrow we're playing Death Knight, like 1,000 million billion percent. What a sight! What to do? All right. Turn to perfection. Draw a weapon. Okay, wait. I'm gonna discover the play. Here we go. What does this guy do? Draw a weapon. Here right. we go. Funny stuff is by the way, you keep saying magic, but it's arena. It's a bit different. I'm gonna say the reason I say magic is that if I say arena, it's it's actually a little bit misleading. Let's see, I do this. What is that? Sick. What a sight. Nice. Here we go. Maybe we just hang on to this. Oh hell yeah. I like magic because almost everyone knows what magic is, but if I say arena, it's like very vague. And then I wind up saying magic arena. So many tendrils were doing it. It's tendril, tendril time. Took a trip to Tendril Town. Oh, dude, I'm drinking so much water. I'm the most hydrated man on earth right now. Okay, so I will play this. Dude, I'm owning. I'm owning. See if Ross is here. I was thinking he was going to drink straight from the jug. I'm not The Rock, okay? I'm not Dwayne Johnson. What the fuck did this ability do? Why is this a 10-9 on turn 5? I thought 4 mana 7-7s seven were scary back in 2016. I don't believe it. This tendril is just so big. Just so chaotic. Oh. What else I got? Here we go. All right. Order, order for randomness. <laughs> this game looks nuts right now. Do it feels nuts. Look at this guy. He's just taking ten to the teeth. Zilliax. Skilly Zilly. Turn to perfection. Her to perfection. Her. Painter's virtue. We stand together. We 
I think I'd do this first. I don't know if this blows up my own things too often. What in the fuck is this card? What a sight. What the f- Ugh! Hearthstone! Holy shit, this game is just so random. It's so good. Alright. Preparation into preparation feels like a good play. Okay. I have a 0-3 that says your hero has plus two attack on your turn. Transform all enemy. Okay, well this makes the reading easier. I mean... All right. Aha! Aha! Holy fuck a mole. That's insane damage. Okay. Okay, Apo Koala gifting a plenty 20 for you and I. Dude, thanks, Apo. Plenty gifted subs. All right, I'm doing something. Absolutely getting Murloc to death. Take that, poor. Mm. Sorry, I'm an asshole. Yeah, sure says he doesn't know chat. I don't even know what you're referring to. Look at this, we're both trying to kill him. Two random bonus effects. Excavate a treasure. And there's this thing, right? So this become a 1-1 one, one again, or is it still a 13-14 with a rush? <laughs> That's ten. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Pretty good combo. Well, what can you do? Kind of sucks to be at 22. Ay, ay, ay. Wait, 32? April Quality did another 32. Are you insane? For a total of 1,200? Oh my god, am I going to die to Leroy? You hate to see it. the game. Dude, you know, it's one of those things where, like, the game feels so unstable in a way that I didn't expect. But in any case, dude, Apo Koala, thanks for the 32. Oh my god, Apo Koala. Apo Koala's been here for 150 months. We've done 1,200 subs over the many years. Hey, Bokwala, you are a true, kind human. Valera versus Magnus. Unless you're the paladin we just played again. I'll show you <laughs> Watch your back. All right, here we go.
Balance patch. In two days, rip paladin. Yeah, maybe we'll do battlegrounds tomorrow. And then on Thursday, do a full old stream of Hearthstone, huh? What do you think? Maybe that actually sounds pretty good, huh? Maybe that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I want, I, you know what? You know that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. We're gonna play some battlegrounds. One of the, because uh, I was going to do that on Thursday, but if they're doing a balance patch on Thursday, great. I want to do some spell mage stuff. There's just so many modes, so many modes. All right, here we go. Chorus Rift. Draw main, give plus three, plus three. Play your last Rift. All right. Dig for treasure. Hit him with the tendrils. One, two, three. Get yeah, your own good. Pan. Keep on panning. Get your own pan. Yeah, there's, there's actually too much Blizzard stuff. Don't be confused. Battlegrounds is in under modes. I know. Battlegrounds is right underneath Hearthstone. Once you open Hearthstone, you don't click Hearthstone, you click on Battlegrounds. Not to be confused with modes. Alright, so here we go. Um... Why not? I've never played Battlegrounds. I've actually never even watched Battlegrounds. Never have I ever. This is the last game. This is it. We're gonna try to win. Pure RNG. Okay, let's see here. I think I see the play. I think I see it. Here's one. Do this preparation. Get that one out of there. Oh, my cat's upside down. That's four and five. Great. I really want to get this thing out right away and just click on this face. I can't wait. <laughs> the South End says, man, I'm learning a bit about cryptography and the lecturer just pronounced Galois and as Galloese. I can feel my math professor. Oh my God, that's so many Galloese. Galois. All right, RNG of Yog saron let's go. Tentacles this, please. Holy shit. Crusty, Dusty, Surly, Mo, Pearly, Burly, Sandy Red, Rusty. Holy, all right. For any of you who are curious, this is exactly what Ben Brode intended. Bing bang bong dang bong. When does this guy come back? Ooh. Well, I don't like to see that shit, that's for sure. Taunt. Rush. Tentacle. God damn it! Alright. <laughs> Pinfledorf, this is actually the kind of bullshit Ben Brode loves, dude. Ben Brode played a unset commander deck. 
on Commander at Home. It was so good. All right, Yogg's around. Just take control of that. All right, so on this guy. I'm out of car. This fucking game. This absolute fucking game. I mean, the thing is that I have the I have the water elemental, so I can actually freeze the enemy. I freeze him up. Casino with day nine. Uses Yogg. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not using Yogg. I'm not filling my hand with tentacles yet. I'm not doing it. <laughs> you you wish you were this composed and controlled with Yogg Sarans on the battlefield. Fucking serious, man. Fuck, dude. You can't. No, you can't fucking be serious. Fuck this guy. Okay. Fine. I swear to fucking God, this game is a hater. I swear to fucking God. Alright, let's play this thing. Alright. Yeah, I think I think I'm just I think I'm just gonna do this. Created a temporal anomaly. I'm just Gepetto. go and when I come back tomorrow I'll be battlegrounds maybe I'll do something that's a little bit less RNG ish but maybe I won't I had a lot of fun but it's 715 so I'm just gonna go real swift bye bye <laughs>